members, I hate that I even have to describe this book. I hate this. But the fact is, this is what this language, the bill, the language in this bill before us, seeks to expose the minds of our young people to. And before we cast that vote, we need to be familiar with the content that you're voting to expose their minds to. The member from Wright, Representative Lucero. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Would Representative Bennett yield for a question? She will yield. Representative Lucero. Representative Bennett, I have uh, the book here that you referenced. It's perfectly normal. And I just want to make sure that I understood you correctly in what you said, that Planned Parenthood references this book as part of their comprehensive sex education. Representative Bennett. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Representative Lucero, they endorse it on their webpage that is their model curriculum for what they'd like to see for comprehensive sex education for elementary and secondary. Representative Lucero. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I had previously referenced the language in the bill that talks about this content is going to be targeted at elementary students. Representative Bennett referenced it's going to be down to kindergartners and pre-K. When I look at the cover of this book, it's for age 10 and up. Ten-year-olds, Madam Speaker, remember, is fourth grade. Fourth graders. Well, if this content, if the decorum exists to expose fourth graders to this content, then this content can be exposed here on the House floor. So I'm flipping through these pages and I'm looking at some of this stuff. Fourth graders, there are drawings of naked men and women. I see a picture here for a fourth grader of a woman being taught to look in a mirror in a compromising position. Fourth graders, continuing to flip the pages. Page 43, masturbation is perfectly normal. You know what, members? Representative Lippert, you referenced we all are looking to have the same goal. This is not the goal that I have to expose fourth graders to masturbation and that it's perfectly normal. No way. The values of the communities that I represent and the vast majority of parents across Minnesota do not ascribe to these values. Continuing to flip the pages. Madam Speaker, I'd move for a call of the House. Representative Doubt moves for a call of the House. Are there 10 hands? Seeing 10 hands, there will be a call of the House. Representative Lucero, you had the floor. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Members, I hate that I even have to describe this book. I hate this. But the fact is, this is what this language, the bill, the language in this bill before us, seeks to expose the minds of our young people to. And before we cast that vote, we need to be familiar with the content that you're voting to expose their minds to. So continuing on. Here it is on page eight. Who you are, straight, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, plus. Should a fourth grader be exposed to this content? The book speaks about 
anal, oral, vaginal sex, and that they're all equivalent. Who should be exposing the minds of this content? Who should do that? Parents, not the government. The book speaks about pornography and that it is not bad for you. That is not true. Psychology demonstrates that exposure to pornographic material has a detrimental impact, especially in the minds of young people who can't comprehend the material. Page 52 speaks about vaginal intercourse and orgasms. And it has a picture here of two people in a bed performing the act. Is this what 10-year-olds should be exposed to? Are you kidding me? I just can't believe this is even up for debate. This is perversion for our young people. Here it is on page 71. Abortion. Well, that makes sense. You've got Planned Parenthood who's in the business of abortion, who makes money off abortion. They have a vested interest in promoting abortion to the ends of the earth so they can increase their profit. So of course they're going to endorse a book that's promoting abortion. Ten-year-olds. The illustrations in this book are just disgusting. It is not normal. I referenced Jesus Christ earlier. Let me reference an Old Testament book. Are you familiar with the Song of Solomon, the book in the Old Testament? For those that are familiar with that book, it contains some pretty graphic descriptions regarding love, love in a healthy way. And it's my understanding that back in the days of David and Solomon and thereafter, that the book of the Song of Solomon couldn't even be read by those until you've reached the age of 30. Why? Because it's well understood that you have to have a mental, psychological maturity level for certain types of content. And the best arbiters, the best deciders of content, the methods of exposure, and what is right and wrong is the values of the parents, of our young people. Not the government, not any of us sitting in this room to decide what content is appropriate for young people and their minds. Again, this is disgusting. Planned Parenthood is behind this. The language in this bill is being promoted by Planned Parenthood. The values of the state of Minnesota are not for this. Any poll cited attempting to promote the language of this bill is not what parents were answering. They didn't have this in mind. Members, I highly encourage support for the Bennett Amendment to strip this perverse language out of the bill. Thank you. Any further discussion to the A78 Amendment? Seeing none, the Representative Bennett, closing. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And, and I, too, members would ask for a yes vote for this amendment. I, I do believe that your hearts are in the right place in, in 
setting this out, but I do think it's a dangerous, dangerous precedent to set when we start mandating things like this to our local school districts and teaching it in a government school setting where no values can be attached to it. And as uh, the curriculum samples that we see, the types of things being pushed members, there is a, a very likely danger that we move from sex education to actual sexual grooming of our children. And I do not want to see that in our schools. Thank you. The clerk will take the roll. The clerk will close the roll. There being 58 ayes and 73 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted.